Okay, so the intro to today's video is a little different than normal. Uh, I'm about to go on my morning run, and if you were thinking about doing something healthy or active today, consider this your sign to do so. Uh, we will be getting to the short shifter install a little later today, but I just wanted to take a minute to express my appreciation for all the early subscribers. When I made my first video, I only had two subscribers, and without advertising or telling people to, sub to subscribe, uh, we got to a little over a hundred uh, people who are organically subscribing who maybe just found my channel based on the products and installs that I was doing. That being said, I decided I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Um, I was gonna install this Spoon Sports rearview mirror in my car. I decided to go in a different direction and instead of reselling it and trying to make my money back, I decided, hey, why not give it away to a subscriber who showed some love early on. So I'm gonna be giving this away in a couple weeks. Uh, if you're watching this now and you aren't subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe and you will be eligible. The whole goal with this channel was, it's never to like get subscribers or make money or anything like that, but it really is to keep me accountable to continue pursuing the things that I'm really passionate about, like cars, like creating things. Um, and so this gives me an opportunity to do that and the subscribers definitely motivate me to keep pushing myself. Um, so yeah, so I'm just appreciate, I appreciate you guys. And without further ado, we will get into this uh, short shifter. Okay, we are back in the lab. It is uh, later in the day and I have my uh, S2000 right behind me. And we're gonna get started on what may be considered a fairly controversial modification for an S2000. The question is, why would one of the best shifting cars uh, from the factory require a short shifter? Well, I'm hoping to answer that question today. We'll do a little comparison. Um, I'm really hoping that it improves on an already amazing transmission. Um, and if it doesn't, no big deal, we can always swap it back, right? Another reason why I was really excited about this install is because I have a few other parts that are gonna go uh, on the car today as well, in addition to the short shifter. One of them is this awesome Mugen six-speed shift knob in this red color. Uh, I'm just a Mugen fanboy, so I'm super hyped on this. And then I also have a brand new OEM shift boot in black and red with red stitching. I just, I love clean brand new OEM stuff. It's the best feeling when you know it's made for the car. It comes from the factory, brand new, crisp and clean. I get a kick out of getting into like old Japanese cars that have like pristine interiors. I think that's one of the coolest things about uh, being into these older cars. And of course, we got the star of the show, the short shifter from Renegade Motorsports. Um, from what I can tell just by looking at it, it looks like a well-manufactured product. Uh, it is definitely a little bit shorter, about an inch shorter than the OEM shifter. But the interesting thing, I think, is that Renegade uses a brass bushing here as opposed to the plastic one that's used in the OEM uh, shifter. So I'm really curious how this is gonna feel. You know, if we can retain the awesome shifting feeling of the stock transmission and shifter, but adding a little bit of a mechanical click and a bit more rewarding going into each gear, if we can get there along with a shorter throw, I think then a short shifter is totally worth it. If it completely changes how the car shifts and it feels completely aftermarket and uh, not as enjoyable, then we will be going back. Um, but I, I have I have high hopes. This is a really well manufactured piece of uh, piece of equipment here. So uh, fingers crossed. Okay, if you've never done this before, don't sweat it. It's super easy. The first thing you're going to do is pull the e-brake up and out of the way. Second thing you're going to do is start to pop off the center console. Once you do that, you'll have access to the two plugs that you'll have to disconnect. This will be a lot easier for you than it was for me because it turns out that the previous owner had used a Loctite on my shift knob, so I wasn't able to remove it during this process. Once you unplug the two plugs, you'll have access to the rubber shift boot and also the plastic ring. Be very careful removing the plastic ring as you will be reusing this. And then once you remove that, you'll have access to the hardware that keeps the OEM shifter in place. Once you remove that, the OEM shifter will pop out and you can begin the process of installing the Renegade short shifter. Um, okay, so once you get the OEM one out, you essentially just assemble this up to Renegade's directions, which I'll be linking in the description below. 
and you grease the hell out of this with the grease that they provide so you're going to basically grease anything that could be a contact point anything in between here the uh, aluminum seat and the ball joint and then obviously the the bushing down here and then you're going to pop it back in the car uh, hand tighten it up and then you're going to torque it down to seven i believe it was 7.2 foot pounds so i noticed that renegade gives you just enough grease to grease the entire shifter uh, a little close for comfort for me i like to have a little extra just in case so if you're like me you might want to keep a little extra grease uh, with you before you start this install so that you can make sure everything's lathered up real well You don't really want to pop this thing off in a year or two to re-grease it again. So uh, Just an idea. It did work out for me But uh, I would have preferred to have a little extra grease than they provided in the kit At this point you maneuver the shifter into the place according to Renegade's directions And then you start to torque everything down to spec It took a little while to get me to get this in the right place, but it's really not that difficult. Just make sure that it's facing the right direction that you're able to go into your reverse lockout. Uh, torque everything down and then you begin the process of assembling everything back together. Okay, for whatever reason, putting the OEM, the new OEM shift boot back in ended up being the what took the longest in this install anyways it looks great so i'm not mad at it man you gotta love that oem nice leather Okay, uh, it is now the next morning. I'm at my house. Uh, I just spent the entire morning driving my car around, uh, getting a real feel for the shifter so that I can give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion. Um, and uh, I have to say right off the bat, I'm very impressed. It is a very high quality product. It has, for me, retained all the great things about the OEM shifter, transmission, the feel of it. It's retained all that, but somehow has made it sportier. You know, it obviously has a shorter throw, which I love. I'll walk you guys through that right now. We got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And uh, reverse feels good too. But you can tell just by looking at the, the motion of the shifter, way more mechanical way more mechanical and i love it i gotta say i'm very impressed with this shifter uh, i do recommend it to anyone looking for a short shifter now the question does the s2000 need the short shifter uh no no i mean it doesn't you know the oem shifter is, am is amazing it's a fantastic shifter uh i i definitely don't think the car needs one it's not like if you drive an sti for example a new sti 2020 sti Anyone who's driven that car knows that it can benefit heavily from having a short shifter in the car. It's a very sporty car, but it can definitely benefit from having a short shifter. The S2000 does not need it at all, at all. But if you got the cash and you want to do it, you will not regret it. This is, it has definitely improved upon an already amazing shifter. That's going to wrap it up. Uh, if you guys have questions about anything about the install before you make your own purchasing decision, please feel free to reach out to me. Also, uh, subscribe, please. Uh, you know, I love making this content. And if you subscribe, you have an opportunity to win the Spoon Rearview Mirror. So again, I appreciate everyone watching. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Peace.